Kimber with The Pinning Mama. I am so excited to show you today's tutorial. We are going to talk about how to make some of the popular striped um, state vinyl decals um, with the crop tool. So let's get started. First of all, I have um, opened this nice striped file. You can get this for free on my website. If you want to pop over there, you can just download it and it makes it super easy. Um, or you can draw um, stripes with the rectangle tool and duplicate them down to make your own. Either way, um, we'll get you the same thing. Um, so we have the stripes opened and the next thing that we're going to do is to add our state onto it. So um, I have, I think it's called, let's see, state face which is a font that um, that gives you it's a dingbat font that gives you a state for each letter you push um, so I am just going to draw Texas because that's where I'm originally from and um, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger so that we can work with it easily let's see Okay, so now you'll see that we have our black and white stripes and we have our texas. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we are going to select the black stripes. You're also going to select the texas, so you're going to hold down the shift key and then click right there on the texas outline. It might take a couple of tries to get it because the texas is a little bit finicky. Let's see, a little bit finicky to select. Okay, now I got it in the black. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate that. So now what I have is, um, I'm gonna zoom out so you can, oh, sorry, zoom out so you can see that a little bit better. I have um, two copies of the state and then I have an additional copy of my black stripes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select my black stripes and delete them. So over here I have white stripes in Texas, over here I have black stripes in Texas, and because we duplicated that, those are going to be lined up exactly the same. Um, that's very important. You can't just forget to duplicate it and add a Texas over there because we're going to need this um, these stripes to line up very, very exactly to layer this correctly. Um, so you need to remember to duplicate it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here I'm going to um, select both the Texas and the white stripes and then go to my modify panel. The modify panel is right up here. It has a little M on it and I'm going to select crop. Oops, that didn't work. I didn't have both of them selected. That happens sometimes. Let's see. Got our stripes and we got our Texas. Okay, now they're both selected and I'm going to hit crop. See? It happens to the best of us. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see if we can get all that. Oh, my text is so good. There we go. I have both of them selected and I'm going to crop. Now you'll see that we have our black stripes and our white stripes. And um, we would cut those separately, but I'm going to put them back together just to show you how that works. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is group them. So I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to right click and I'm going to group those together. Then I'm going to do the same thing over with the black. I'm going to select all of the black stripes. I'm going to right click and I'm going to group them together. Then I'm just going to take the black and I'm going to put them right back over here with the white. I'm going to get them pretty close and then I'll zoom in so that we can see. Oh look, I did a really good job. I think I might have gotten it perfectly fit right on there. So you can see we have our black stripes, our white stripes. Um, and the way we did that was super simple. We just used the crop tool. Now the reason why we couldn't leave it the way it was when we started where there were black and white stripes. We had the texas over it and then we hit crop. Is because these cut lines are just right on top of each other and that tends to confuse um, the software. There is another way that you could do it if you did not want to separate them using the divide tool. Um, and I will show you that in another lesson, but 
Um, today, we're concentrating on the crop. We um, very simply made our white stripes with our Texas, cropped it, our black stripes with our Texas, cropped it, and then we fit them back together. If you want, you could also um, add text on there like we did. Let's see. Uh, let's get a nice... Yeah, a nice scripty font, and then um, let's see. Let's fill this in so you can see it. Oops. As if we were going to cut it in gold vinyl, right there, gold glitter. Let's weld that together. Okay. If you don't um, know how to weld, make sure to check out my five tips for text video and it will help you. And then I could just add my flowers as well. Let me see if I can have any that I can put on really quick. Um, there's my flower cut. Let's see. Um, and I could just layer this right on top wherever I wanted it. But to recreate what I have in my post, you will see right there. Um, simple as that. It looks really complicated. It looks super fancy. But in reality, it's very, very simple to do with the crop tool. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them on the post or here on YouTube. Um, and make sure to check out my post for additional resources and um Join the Silhouette Boot Camp that gives you little mini lessons every week. Um, and I will see you soon. Thanks, guys.